In this video, we're going to turn our hawk feather into a prayer feather. For this video, you'll need your feather. This is a hawk feather. can be an eagle feather. You'll need a scrap of leather and some artificial sinew about an arm's length or less. You'll always have more. What you do, this is buffalo hide. You can use deer, you can use moose. So you're gonna take your you're gonna take your leather and you're gonna wrap it around. You're gonna leave a bit of a tail. Then you're gonna take your sinew. Wrap it around, and wrap it around, oh, hold on, I made a mistake here, I got talking, didn't pay attention, you have to kind of equalize your sinew. Wrap it around one way, wrap this one around the other, and you're going to tie it. Fix your leather here. You're going to start doing X's. So you flip it over, you go down a bit. Pull it down, and tie, and flip it over. Tie, flip it over, and tie. Basically, this is just to, you could just tie it top and bottom and glue it, but this one gives you a little pattern. Continue this for a little bit. It'd probably also be better if you worked inside versus me working outside. I like the outside. But you're going to have to deal with a slight breeze and wind. Now at this point you're towards the end of the feather, 
So you're going to do what you did at the top. You're going to take one and wrap very tightly this way. And this one this way. tight. Then with artificial sinew it's best to tie it at least three times. And then you just take a lighter and just touch the ends just to melt them slightly. Then just leave a little bit, a little bit of string so you can melt it. Now at this point you can cut your fringe. Some people cut their fringe before they put it on. I find there's really not much difference in doing fringe before or after. Actually, you don't really need the fringe. to take your time. I'm used to cutting hand cut fringe and keeping them relatively the same thickness. Um, you could use a ruler. And kind of draw it out first on the back side. Try not to cut your fringe that you've already cut. Now I always end up with a piece like this. That's not quite big enough to do two. So I just move up and trim it off. That's just for cosmetic. There we go. Now you made a prayer feather or a smudge feather. It's totally up to you. Um, smudge it now with your smudge. You can hold it. You can use it as a talking feather. Most people use a talking stick, but you can use a talking feather, so I hope you enjoy.